everyone wants to see that. If I had to sit through this one more year, guys, I probably just would have deleted my YouTube channel. I probably would have never watched a college football game again, and I would have gone insane. This was the dumbest thing ever introduced in college football. It changed the power dynamic. It changed the game. It changed the teams that matched up, and it's probably not something that you expected. However, it is going away with conference realignment. All of you have an opinion on conference realignment. I think it's great for money-wise. I think it's great for entertainment, for integrity. Maybe not the best, but still, conference realignment is taking this one thing away, and I applaud it for it. Real quick, feel free to subscribe. I'm posting content like this all off-season, keeping you guys entertained. Three videos a week, and also make sure to like and comment to get the algorithm going. In the early 2010s is when this all started. There were some conference shifts. For example, the Pac-12 became a thing. Teams were added to the Big Ten, taken out of the Big 12. So there were some flips in conferences. And guess what the new trend was? Yeah, let's create conference divisions because we have so many teams. We could do a North-South, an East-West. That would be a great idea. We could separate it, make it like the NFL, and have two teams in separate divisions play in the conference title game. Wow, that sounds so great on paper, doesn't it, guys? There are some exceptions to this. The SEC was doing divisions starting in the 90s, and their conference title game was East versus West. Now, it wasn't super overpowered. There wasn't one division that was way better than another. It kind of switched in a five-year cycle, so I would say that's all right. The Big 12 also had divisions starting in the 90s up until 2010. Funny enough, they completely removed their conference championship game, which backfired them in the 2013 and 14 seasons, then added it back in 2017. But this time in 2017, they did no divisions. They did the number one outright seed versus the number two outright seed. And I think this is the way to go. So I'm mainly talking about the ACC, the Pac-12, and the Big Ten. In 2005, the ACC added the Atlantic and Coastal divisions. Then in 2011, for both the Pac-12 and the Big Ten, they added their East, West, and North, South. And this was a complete disaster. Let's start with the Pac-12 because this has the most impact on my childhood. From 2011 to 2016, the winner of the North won the title game every single time. It was just unfair. It was Oregon and Stanford going back and forth. Washington sprinkled in there a couple of years versus a team that had no business even being in the game because the South was so weak compared to the North. In 12 years of this division set up in the Pac-12, the South only won three times. Are you even serious? For your conference title game, you want the two best teams playing. You want to showcase your conference. And when you have one team that's great, that has college football playoff implications or BCS implications, playing a team that shouldn't even be there, that's just bad for the sport. That's bad for prime time. No one wants to watch Washington beat up on Colorado by 40 points, which it happened in the 2016 championship game. No one wants to see that. It was even worse in the ACC. From 2011 to 2019, the Atlantic Division won every single time, and it rotated from Clemson to Florida State back and forth, and most of these games were not even close. I never tuned in for an ACC championship because I knew I was going to look at the score next day and it was going to be a 30 point win for Clemson or Florida State. Was it even fun to win the Coastal Division or the South Division during these years knowing that you were going to get plowed in the conference championship game? Everyone just knew it was a complete joke. And here is the worst one. Big Ten fans, you already know all about this. I even made a video about this months ago, one of the first few videos I post on my channel because this one, this one makes my blood boil. From 2011 to 2013, the Big Ten had things called the Leaders Division and the Legends Division, but no one really liked this and they went away with that starting in 2014. So from 2014 to present day, we had East versus West. The East Division housed the three most elite teams in the Big Ten, Michigan, Ohio State, and Penn State. And do you guys wanna know how many times the East Division lost to the West. Never. The East Division won every single year for nine years. It didn't matter who played in the game. Iowa, Wisconsin, Northwestern from the West. They got trounced every single time. It's horrible to watch, but I still watched it every year because I thought this is going to be the most insane upset in college football. If the West finally beats the East, I want to be there to see it. And I watched every single year and I was disappointed. And there was a point where I'm like, these divisions need to go away. They need to go away. And thankfully with conference realignment, I know a lot of people hate on conference realignment, but the one thing they did do is remove divisions in the power four starting in 2024. There will be no divisions. It will be the number one team versus the number two team in every single one. There's no East versus West in the SEC. There's no East versus West in the Big Ten. And there's no Atlantic or Coastal in the ACC. Thank the Lord. We're finally going to have thrilling conference title match. Maybe even rematches from the regular season. I like the way they lay out the schedule 
now with keeping rivalries intact without the divisions. It is great. I'm so looking forward to it in 2024. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. I've been Saturday Shenanigans, your home for unfiltered college football content. If you're new, subscribe so you never miss out on another great upload. And also, join the best family in college football. I'll see you guys soon.